All right, going silver bells today. My yellow blonde locks are going white. Well, hopefully, because I've heard it's really hard to get at home. So we'll see if, um, we'll see just how good or talented I am <laughs> with this. So I'm, I'm gonna be putting on the coconut oil as usual. I uh, found using a spray bottle actually, you guys, helps a lot. So uh, tr give it a try, because it keeps it from being so messy at times. Okay, time to get moving with the coconut oil and then the bleach next. So I'm excited, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, hopefully it turns out <laughs> okay. Uh, if not, it'll at least be a really light blonde, so that's fine. But I like it to turn out how I want it. It would be, it's always nice when that happens. <laughs> so, and then like I was saying, um, for, you know, people that have seen my coconut oil, um, you know, with bleaching your hair and everything, uh, for applying it, I found just, it, this isn't the, I, I took an empty, um, leave-in conditioner bottle, bottle and put it in after I melt it and use it now to just kind of. Okay, now that the oil is all on, I'm gonna let it sit in for, oh, my little elf ears. I want my dad's ears. <laughs> um, gonna let it sit for just, you know, like 15, maybe 20 minutes, five time, and then start putting the bleach on. I'm ready to apply my bleach. I'm gonna section this out to four sections. And okay. Alrighty, got the gloves on, the hair portioned out, and ready to get to bleaching. So let's get a move on. Okay, so I've got it all on. I did have to make more um, than I had made originally. So be prepared to have like, you know, quite a bit because after I got the first, just the roots and everything on and even some of the, the you know, mid, middle and ends, I went back through and kept putting a little bit more on where I kept seeing if it wasn't like developing as fast as the rest of it around it to make sure to get an even or even as possible color. And it's turning a nice pale yellow, which is awesome because from my understanding, that's what you want. You can tone it to close to a white, I guess. Um, if you have like an orange brassy, but it won't be white white, so you know what I've been told, and we'll find out. Uh, the more pale yellow, more yellowy, the uh, the tone of the bleaching uh, is when it's done before toning, the better, because that will let it be like a lighter um, color. So I'm using the Wella toning uh, colors uh, for, and if I do have any orange or brassy kind of color. I'm going to be using, I guess, the T18, the girl said, to try. And then, um, but for the yellowy kind of stuff, um, it's going to be a T14. So I think they're right there. I had to write these on the box so I would not forget. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm sorry. I had it backwards. <laughs> the T18 is for the yellow and the 14 is for the orangey stuff. So 18 yellow. Yeah. 14 orange. This is burning. I'm about to wash it out. Okay, so out of the shower. It's looking good. Uh, it's a nice pale yellow like they were saying. The back has a little orangey, but that's why I got the two, two different color toners. So I'm gonna get my hair all dried up and get ready to get the toners on and see how this turns out afterwards. Cross your fingers. Uh, anyways, okay, so on to the toner. So the one I am, the one I'm gonna be using is Dremel. Where to go? Make sure I tell you guys the right one again. Ah, ah. The Wella T18. And I guess it's a liquid one. So. I usually like cream stuff, but like the um, dyes and toners, but sometimes they only come in liquid and I know that's what the girl handed me. So we're giving it a shot. And ah, I'm just kidding. This is the um, the developer. It's actually two, you can see it's more blue in the back because I had to use the other one because um, it ran out. 
of the first one so we'll see how this looks I just tried to keep it even as possible if anything hopefully I'll just have like a little more darker gray I'm hoping this <laughs> purple turns out um, you know layer silvery or white we'll see I know it'll make it real pale I know that's part of Tony and stuff but um we'll see how that ends up so okay I'm about to wash it out so we'll see how it looks okay so here it is dried I just haven't done any like curling or anything to it but it's getting there it wasn't as quite as like you know white light that I wanted it but it's almost there and I know I'm probably gonna have to like dye it or use a semi-permanent um, hair color to do it so it's definitely um, I definitely know I hate it <laughs> like I said it's close to it it's you know working I didn't do my the blue that I wanted to underneath yet it's just that I've washed my hair out twice today and I'm just kind of tired of <laughs> having to get my head wet and dry it again so we'll do that another day maybe when I go get the white in a day or two so and see how it all turns out yay for New Year's Whew. happy New Year coming up oh quick thanks for watching thank you for everyone who's subscribed if you haven't already don't forget to hit up and smash up that like button or like button and yeah we'll catch you next time in a 